What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another career sim on Madden 20. I had to stop and think. I was like, um, what, what are we doing? And today we are obviously going to do Jeff Okuda. The Lions had a pretty good draft class, so we are going to be able to follow some of the other guys like Swift, you know, until they potentially get rid of him. Because of course, Kerryon Johnson, who gets re-signed at a decent rate in Madden, uh, is still the starter there. But looking at the defenders... Uh, you know, Aquara back up at the moment. And then Okuda, we gave him superstar development because I think there's a very good chance, you know, as NFL ready as everyone wants to say he is, that he will get superstar. We don't have a definite number, jersey number for him yet. So I'm going to say that there's a chance Tracy Walker moves number and Okuda gets 21. But then again, he's not like the biggest, biggest name. So he might be stuck at like a number 30 or something like that. But I think obviously as a, as far as corner goes, 21, 24 look really cool. So we're going to give him 21. Uh, superstar development. How old is he in real life? I think he's 21. We'll change that. These are the ratings that he has. I think these are very fair ratings. The speed might even be a little bit too high. Excel wise, you know, that combine uh, was kind of rough. But... Ultimately, still good enough to go that high to the Lions. Great draft pick uh, decision. And we're going to see how great that decision was in this career sim. Like, leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Trumpy Care. Check out the second channel, PK Care Plays. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch.tv slash Trumpy Care. I barely stream, even though I promise I will all the time because I'm a great person. <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much that let's uh let's let's take off headed to the playoffs i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna be too optimistic for the lions here 5 10 and 1 which will leave them with another really good draft pick obviously cornerback shouldn't be on their list of needs i would actually probably put wide receiver kind of up there marvin jones isn't getting any younger uh offensive line definitely some need there as well as they signed vitae a to a 10, what is it, a five-year, 10 million per year deal, which is a little expensive. Julian Aquara with eight and a half sacks. Uh, as far as Okuda goes, no pay. He had one pick, 114 tackles, though, with a half a sack. Uh, he only had three deflections. He allowed 51 catches. And overall, not a great season. You know, tackles aren't a number you want to see very high for the... Uh, for your cornerbacks, uh, but I suppose it could have been worse. You know, uh, where is he? Number four on defense, a rookie of the year. Could even get himself to X Factor. Is for whatever reason, if you guys didn't know, uh, the uh, way to develop a cornerback or you know slash DB is to get tackles or uh, deflections. It's not actually interceptions. So in this case, it might not be the worst thing ever because. He might actually become an X-Factor after the very first season. And speaking of the very first season, we didn't get to see the, who the damn Super Bowl winner was. Super Bowl winner was the Buffalo Bills. Interesting. Offensively, Okuda is not an X-Factor. I'm a little surprised. All right, let's go to draft recap. And okay, this actually looks really good on first glance. Jalen Mills, the wide receiver, 21 years old, 6 foot tall. Uh, he actually looks really solid. Great jumping. Great uh, acceleration. Decent speed. Decent agility. Uh, a little juke ability, nothing insane. Uh, looks actually really solid. 77 overall on top of it. He is a only a star wide receiver, but that's actually pretty good. And I don't know how old he was, but oh, another hidden. Okay, now this is this is kind of this is kind of special. Javier Andrews, another star development player, but that's really good. They also go for QB, which is really interesting. I'd even notice that at first. Roy Simpson. Uh, Matthew Stafford's a really good quarterback, though. Another star development. He's, he's a pretty solid quarterback, so it's a little weird to see him um, them looking for a replacement at this point in time. I feel like it's really early. I know he de technically had a down-ish year last year, but you know, that doesn't really count. He didn't play a full season. You know, He actually was having a really good year, probably his best year of his career. So, I don't know. Seems uh, quite a bit early for a guy that's only 32 so, I don't, I don't know. It's a little strange. Of course, I don't know why Okuda's all the way down there. He's by far the most developable. Bubble. I hate saying developable. It's... it's uh. And yes, I just got you moist with that that moan. As you would have expected, another... Really? Another five and Another five win season. Uh, Matthew Stafford. How did he play last season? It was pretty similar to this, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, if I'm them... Uh, I don't know. It's tough because he's playing pretty well. 
and I'm I debate maybe starting the youngster. I don't know. It's it's a tough decision. Uh, Swift, you know, really not getting his chance to start. Mills played a lot considering he was at the number three spot. I would assume uh, blocking. Not super great. Just, I don't know, just didn't go well for them. Uh, three guys over 100 tackles. Okuda is one of them with four picks. So maybe a dev up. I don't know. Uh, but looking at the picks, Okuda and Trufant with both four each. More deflections this season as well. Less catches allowed. Uh, that's pretty much that, though. There's not really anything we're going to win. Maybe Mills would have won uh, Rookie of the Year. But even then, it really doesn't change anything to actually see it. Winner of the Super Bowl is the Seahawks. As far as dev ups go, I don't think we had a single one on offense. And then defense, Okuda does go to X Factor. He has selfless, which is kind of trash if we're being honest. Superstar development, uh, superstar X Factor development. Uh, very good man corner. Got an acceleration, would appear, maybe an agility or two. Looks pretty damn good already. And then Trey Flowers, did he also get selfless? He got unstoppable for. So as far as selfless goes, I suppose getting your, uh, your pass rusher to uh, X Factor is kind of clutch, like his ability is kind of clutch. So I don't know. I mean, I suppose it's not terrible. Did Trufant go up to Superstar? He did. It's probably a little late for him, but I don't know. All right, look at the draft recap, and I see a very good set of overalls. Uh, that's, it's like you're at the clothing store. I could have just said like the tailor. I don't know if they even call it a tailor. I don't know what the hell is even going on. Uh, Darren McQueen. Star development. I will say the jersey number. That number, the four looked like a nine. Uh, and then they get Kendall Patterson, a new safety that could, in theory, play some corner uh, with the development of also star. So they're landing some really good overalls with Hidden. They're unfortunately only star. Brian Langster. They get two starting coverage linebackers in the same freaking draft. You've got to be actually joking me. And this one's an X Factor. Okay, dude. This is probably the best AI draft we've seen in quite some time because they landed three starters, all 75 overall and higher. They're higher. The 75 overall is a freaking X Factor. So, I don't know. That's insane. You know, like, we've had some AIs draft some great DTs, but DT is by far the easiest thing to draft in Madden this year outside of probably safety. So, you know, when you come down to getting two starting coverage linebackers, that's freaking impressive, dude. That's insane. All right, after a few really good drafts and some bad seasons, the Lions are in the playoffs at 10-6. and six. Look at the rest of the division. And I will show you guys, we didn't, like, force any losses or any. I don't really care if you guys couldn't tell. I really could not care less. Uh, is that? Wait. I could not care less. I don't know, dude. It's <laughs> words. Looking at uh, the really ten and six, I would definitely start Simpson next season. Stafford doesn't look great here. As far as rushing goes, Swift should probably start soon too. He's he's played pretty well as a backup yards per carry wise. Receiving, what the hell is going on around here? How is this team ten and six? Did they lose their st like? Was Amendola like a thousand yard receiver or something, and then he decided to retire out of nowhere? Uh, no one in the 100-plus tackle region. Uh, sack totals look pretty damn good. Very interesting to see Jamie Collins as a backup getting 11 sacks as a 74 overall as well. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, but this team is very talented right now. It's just a very weird season, like we said. So uh, any rookie awards? Lankster gets the rookie award over McQueen, which is interesting. Both, I would assume, did start. And that's pretty much that. Let's take a look. At uh, who's going to win this game? The Lions could sneak out with a victory. They did not sneak out with a victory. 28-7, <laughs> to 7, unfortunately. Uh, but it was the very first game. And once again, Akuta's a simple corner. He's not like a quarterback or a wide receiver. I mean, even you know, wide receiver running back. He's not going to be able to change the game, the team, that much. But as far as you know, doing what he could... He played a pretty good part so far. I think we will have to change this to a 4-3. This is weird. Oh, we lost freaking Aquara. Damn it, well, we'll have to fix that because he shouldn't be a free agent yet. Let's take a look at those drafted players again. Middleton. Okay. We were going to get Aquara back. Could have given us some time there, buddies. Oh, here you go. Darren Beal, new guard. Probably going to put him at left guard. I'll put him at left guard for him. Because I don't think they got anyone in free agency. He is only... Damn it, I clicked the wrong button. He's only star. What about this guy? 
Uh, yikes. <laughs> so they tried to fix the line. It didn't really work out too well. They got one out of three, but yeah, pretty bad draft. Obviously, it's pick 24, so it's a lot worse, but overall, not a great draft. Headed to the playoffs, we made it last season at 10-6, and six, and this season, 4-11-1. I don't know how that makes any sense. Of course, they might have started the new quarterback. I didn't actually look. They did. Roy Simpson started, but they didn't. Wow, how many quarterbacks do you need? They didn't release Stafford, who just basically made 22 mil on the bench. All right, man, if you say so. Mills didn't start, even though he was the highest overall of the receivers. McQueen did pretty well. Uh, what a team. What a team. Interesting. That was it's kind of bad. Not, I'm not going to lie. That was, it wasn't very good. So I don't know what I'm going to have to voice over because I think I had my mic muted. But this team is now 9-7 and seven in the postseason. Looking pretty damn good. And I mean, this, I mean, like I said, this team talent wise, 88 overall looks like it should be better than pretty much every team in the league. This could be a Super Bowl squad. We'll see. Of course, the main thing is how uh, Okuda's doing, and damn, Swift is balling out. Not going to lie. He's kind of balling out. This this might have Okuda and Swift in the title. I'm just saying. I wasn't going to, but Swift is killing it right now. Aquara is killing This is a pretty good video so far. I'd just like to see it capped off with a Super Bowl win. I'm just saying. I mean, every single one of the uh, the rookie players from you know their most recent draft, the top three at least, have been really good careers so far. And there's finally a playoff win over the Cardinals. Going against the Seahawks, of course, you would expect a loss, and we do see that here right now. Seahawks versus the Browns. The winner of that one will be, I mean, neither team has been very successful in Sims. So it's very 50-50. The winner is the... Did I keep, do I keep going to the draft on accident? Is that what's happening here? Seattle Seahawks. All right, draft recap. Let's take a look at what they drafted. Uh, 25 overall was William Beverly, a free safety that will most likely start for this team as they've been struggling to find a starting free. Definitely going to start for him because he's an X factor. They take Sylvester Cohen, you know, could even, you know, could have went either way. Could have been hidden like Mr. Mike Moore, who they don't need. So this is a little bit of a, a questionable one unless maybe they do need him and they just I just don't know because they're gonna get rid of like all their pass rushers and then Tavon Guyton who yeah, he's potential I suppose all right so another playoff season barely though nine and seven I mean this team seems better than a nine and seven team but as far as the NFC North sim goes this is basically like going 16 and 0 as the Vikings because you can see here Vikings are not a 5 10 and 1 team every single season. Relax yourself, VA. Roy Simpson, decent season. DeAndre Swift, solid season. Uh, receivers, we're just not going to talk about it because it's so weird. Uh, Okuda, four picks, 94 tackles. This man's going to have some of the most the highest tackle numbers in cornerback history. Uh, this team gets sacks, though. This team gets pressure. I'll tell you that. Aquara's having a, he's having a career. He's having a career. And he played backup for the, you know, majority of the early part portion of it uh we missed once again another chance of winning 14 to 0 okay i mean it seems fair right it's just you know 14 to 0 against the panthers it's not you know not not unfair or anything and i forgot again does it matter honestly Bengals versus cowboys we want both of them to lose all right going to the draft recap 74 overall cam hastings I would assume that this team, yeah, probably would be in the, the market for a DT. I mean, they were in the market because they literally drafted him. Star development. Uh, any other players? You see a left tackle, 68 overall. Yeah, I thought maybe there was a chance to hit him, but no stammer. And no, I don't really care. If your dev is normal, does it matter? Probably not. All right, head to the playoffs. This team is not good enough this time at an 8-8 eight eight record. Once again, though, we will take a look at the stats. That's the main importance. You know, a team is still a, it's a team. But, you know, these three individuals can obviously play better than their, uh, you know, their respective teammates. And you can definitely tell that by uh, Mr. Aquara's 18-sack number from this past season. Akuda, a little bit lower of a season, you know, not as great. Uh, but still, a really good solid season. He's uh, what 29 now, I would imagine. Uh, so uh, getting up the, you know, getting up there a little bit in the age. But overall, uh, you know, looking all right. It does kind of suck doing like these multiple player type deals. 
uh, because obviously it's hard to keep track of them, especially when they're probably someone on this team is going to be gone soon, right? One of the three. I remember not to go to the draft this time. Look at me learning things and such. The winner of this... Excuse me! I said one week. Relax yourself, EA. It's not a race. Winner of the Super Bowl is the Bills. Again. Not again. Like, they, they won the first one, I believe. Right? Another year, uh, another draft, and another really good first-round pick. Mr. John Green, the DT. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention to what the team needs, but I would say, you know, they just drafted a DT recently. Do they really need another one? Especially only star. Uh, looking at the strong safety, 68 overall. No one cares. Uh, and then wide receiver Tobias Solomon. Okay, a little sneaky little hidden player. I will say, unless they go, they went for a free agent wide receiver, they definitely need this guy. And he is only star as well. So they know how to hit the star development, guys, which I suppose is better than, you know, hitting constant normals. But a nice superstar X Factor here and there wouldn't hurt, you know. All right, as far as the team changes, uh, I don't know why Solomon's not up there because he's, you know, kind of potentially the future of this team and all. Uh, Swift looks like he's regressing. Uh, I don't know if Aquara is, but he's 30 years old now, so there's a very realistic chance that he might be soon. I let the AI just deal with all this. How is he doing so well with such bad pass rush stats? You know what? We're just not going to talk about it. Let's take a look at what Okuda looks like. Probably Superman, no zone. Yeah. And I, I didn't mean Superman like the hero, I, you know. Hey, out of nowhere, the team goes back to the playoffs. Super random. I suppose that's kind of how the NFL goes at times. Uh, it's very hard to continue a dominant streak. Not that this team has ever been dominant here. Uh, you know, we, we made the postseason a couple of times. have barely won one game, I believe. And then pretty much everything else has been a loss. Uh, the scheme might need to change because this team is just being weird. DeAndre Swift has his best overall season technically uh defensively any other numbers that are crazy maybe aquara 19 and a half sacks i don't know how uh where is okuda one one pick the pick numbers has definitely decreased over time but overall he's still playing pretty well i would imagine it's just hard to really see how well a corner is doing in sim like there's really nothing that shows it because, I mean, I looked at it, and pretty much the, the lowest catches allowed by any corner in the entire league is, like, 20-ish. So, like, it's just not a very good indicator. And most of those guys aren't even super great starters. Beating the Cowboys is a huge step. Beating the Seahawks is a very huge step. And, of course, going against the Bills, who have already won a Super Bowl, I know the, uh, you know, it makes sense that we just sim it again. But I want to be involved. I want to see this thing. 89 to their 87. All right, going to the end of the game. So far, kind of scoreless. Well, kind of. <laughs> Seven all. Come on, Lions. Come on, Detroit. Get these hard-working rookies of the past draft a damn ring. Why don't you? Down by seven. Defense does its job. Offense just isn't scoring. It is a 17-all game. The Bills look prominent to score, though. I don't know if that's the word. Do I come in and help the Lions, who are a rival of the Packers that I like in the NFL? I will. Mills, the best receiver on the team, kind of. Oh, God, there is no one open. I probably should have thrown two. That's pass interference. Never mind. I should have done nothing different. Zach Galladay was open. And the slant is open. It's pretty much the only guy open. I mean, look at how slow they are. Do we run with Swift? We can't. They're, for some reason, actually playing against the run, which <laughs> makes no sense at all. Catch this. From the 19-yard line, two seconds left. Galladay could score. I mean, these guys are all slow as hell. But Galladay might have a chance. He's going against the best receiver, the best corner on their team, though. And unfortunately, he catches it, but he's short, man. 23-17. Gotta get that thrown in the end zone. Simpson couldn't do it. And yeah, unfortunately, the Lions do not win the Super Bowl, even though we tried. Looking at the stat line, um, you know, nothing really too special at all. Sack numbers, defensive numbers, really nothing at all special. Just a straight up unfortunate loss. I ignored the draft and the offseason because it just wasn't great. However, the team still did do pretty well at 11 and 5. Uh, who were the teams they lost to? So the Giants, the Texans, the Seahawks, the Colts, and then the Bears, who, if you win that game, probably wouldn't have had the division and most likely a bye week. 
So kind of a big loss in that one. DeAndre Swift has absolutely been killing it, like we said, even though he is pretty much on the age of retirement. Aquara absolutely killed it with 26 sacks in a single season. Interceptions. Okuda gets back up there with four. Yeah, I mean, all of these guys are just absolutely killing it. I still don't understand how uh, DeAndre Swift never went up in dev. Okay, no, he, he literally just went up in dev like last season. But before then, he wasn't up in dev. He's how old is he now? 30 years old, so that, you know, that career's pretty much coming to an end, but really good stuff. Ever since becoming a starter, pretty much average 5.0 yards per carry. Going against the Panthers, who did win against this team in the past. They do not do it this time. Beat the Seahawks once in the past. Can they do it again? They can unfortunately not. At least the Lions made it to the Super Bowl, right? Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it again anytime soon, though, as uh, this team is pretty much falling apart due to age. And as per usual, I... Uh, Accidentally sim all the way to the draft. I would say the Seahawks won, and I'm just not going to check if they did or not. <laughs> I do not care. Also, Swift is an X factor now, so so much for saying the things I said. Uh, Aquara, he probably dropped down in overall, right? A little bit, and then Akuda probably dropped down a little bit. He's 31 now, and yeah, a little bit. Ooh, the speed though. Yeah, he regressed a decent bit. Draft recap. Uh, looking at Tyler Navarre. Uh, Okay, uh, not, I mean, he's good. He's just normal development. Vernon Castle, coverage linebacker, hidden. I don't know if they need coverage linebacker. Actually, those guys are probably getting pretty old at this point. Start development, and then as far as the rest of the draft goes, yeah, no no other hiddens. That tackle is quite interesting. I will, uh, I'll say that. Going to the playoffs, another, well, not another, but the bye week. Uh, playoff season. This time, Simpson had his best season yet, I would assume. Still not probably good enough for for Dev up, which is unfortunate. That's just the way this team is. Uh, yeah, I don't even care about the offense. The offensive numbers outside of Swift are just so random. You can't keep up with them. And Aquara might be might be done. He might be done being a legend. Uh, Akuda doesn't appear to be done being a legend, though. He, he wants to continue his legendary status. Going against the Redskins eat if they win. Oh my god, EA. They were 8-7-1 and one and we lost 35-0. to zero. Why is EA so bad? This is so bad. I get it. They made the playoffs and they made the Super Bowl after winning all the way at 8-7. Wow, what a season though. <laughs> Gotta give them a round of applause. That is, that is a very good season, in fairness. They went 8-7-1 and one as a wildcard team and won the Super Bowl. Although Swift might be gone soon. He's 32 80 overall regressed, uh, yeah, not super hard in fairness. Uh, look at the defensive side of things. Is Aquara still on the team? He is. He is in 87 overall. Uh, looks still pretty solid. He's got at least another two seasons in him, I'd say. Uh, and as far as my knowledge from uh, Okuda, he might last to like 35, 36. All right, time to take a look at that draft recap. <laughs> Perry Staley, it looks like uh, Swift might be on the way out soon. What's that development looking like? Uh, star, how big was he? 238. Okay, that's a that's a that's a hefty fella. Uh, looking at the other guys, though, I do not expect. Yeah, I wouldn't expect any hidden developments, unfortunately for them. Swift 80 overall now. Uh, Koara 87. Okuda 92. I'm surprised they actually kept most of these guys on the team, though. Like the defense doesn't look different at all. The offense doesn't look all that different. I mean, I don't know where they got the money from, but it seems like. A lot of the original-ish players, you know, the ones we were seeing the drafts from, were on the team still. And playoffs miss six and ten. I just don't know how you go from like I could see like maybe seven and nine. Oh, I guess to be fair, seven and nine is not that much different than six and ten. But it just seems like it goes from really well to really bad. It's not like a little in between. Oh, eight and eight just missed the playoffs. That kind of sucks. It's like nope. Uh, same with Aquara. You know, he went from what eight sacks to sixteen after a nineteen and a half sack season. Either way, Aquara's uh, looking like a very good draft pick for him. That's all I can really say. Giants versus the Colts for the Super Bowl. The Giants back in it, and the Giants win. Somehow, DeAndre Swift is still here as a 75 overall, and honestly, he still looks pretty damn good. Defensively, Aquara and Akuda take a big dip, though. Aquara down to an 81 overall. Uh, as far as a block shedder goes, still pretty damn solid. And then Akuda, who is now 33, 87 overall. Uh, loses quite a bit of speed again. Still okay. Definitely okay. Once again, I am surprised, though, that uh, someone like Okuda didn't get let go by now. Because usually we see uh, corners 
hop ship on teams left and right. Draft recap, uh, pick eight is Tyson Barrow. Let me know if you guys, when you guys watch these, do you actually like seeing the uh, rookies or should I just get to the actual point of the video, which is looking at core and all that? I don't really know how this really, oh, I don't know really how this uh, affects the video. Like, you guys even care to see this or not? I just like seeing rookies and seeing how the AI drafts because normally we don't see that process when we do rebuilds and, you know, different franchise videos. So, if you guys don't want to see it, I would understand. Let me know. And we bounce back again. 11-4-1. Roy Simpson over 4,000 yards for like the first time in his career. Swift still starts and has another really good season. I think we're going to take a look at his actual career stats because there's a very good chance this is his last season starting for us. Aquara with 10 uh, sacks. Lankster with 7. I didn't even know you could get 7. I thought 6 was literally the maximum. Uh, Okuda, you know, kind of falling off a little bit, but that kind of, you know, expected. But let's take a look at those career stats while we're here. Uh, DeAndre Swift, 13,000 yards, seven, 117 touchdowns, uh, only one fumble in his entire career. That is very impressive stuff. Receiving, I don't really care, that's not the whole point of this at all. Uh, sack totals, we'll look at after Okuda. 1,176 tackles. Nine, almost a thousand of them were solo. He should get that before his career ends. Five sacks, 39 interceptions. He allowed uh, apparently 600 catches, deflected the ball 44 times, and in his career had only one pick six, uh, or no, might not even been, it could have been a fumble six. 165 sacks for Aquara. You know, a lot of tackles for a loss, all that good stuff. How many forced fumbles? Four, four, two forced fumbles, two recoveries. Uh, two block kicks, a safety, and zero touchdowns. Interesting, interesting career. Very successful one from the uh, the edge department. And once again, the Seahawks. Big shocker there. Yeah, I kind of regret that. I was literally about to say I think we should have probably went into the game because this is probably the last chance we see the Lions make the playoffs. Uh, and the Seahawks are going against the Thunderbirds who we're not going to be able to see the results because I went to the draft yet again. Seahawks win the Super Bowl. Nice. Glad seeing uh, all the same teams every time. Drop. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm not. No, we're not looking at that. That is awful. Look at all the overalls. Uh, surprisingly, Swift still here at a 70 overall. Uh, you have a Quora at a 77, Okuda at an 82. Like I said, I wanted one of these seasons. I mean, I didn't want that. I wanted the playoffs, but. Oh, there you go, Roy Simpson. He wasn't superstar, was he? No, he's about to be superstar at 34 years old. Great time in there, buddy. Swift, of course, you could tell career is literally coming to an end uh just a, you know, about fourteen thousand yards rushing uh looking at other numbers aquara was not great but he had six you know 30 what 35 ish years old that's pretty good still uh okuda four picks at the age of 35 he's 35 right jesus what a legend 35 years old uh really good years for both of them for all of them very interested to see uh you know I would assume Swift is going to finally retire, right? And then we see the Niners versus the Broncos. The real shocking part is all three of them stayed on the Lions for their entire career. Absolute loyalty and a half from both sides. You can see that overall dropped tremendously. Let's take a look at the rushing. Uh, yeah, the, of course, you do see uh, Swift is gone. And believe it or not, we also see Mr. Uh, Okuda go, I believe, as well. I don't know. Maybe he went to free agency or not, but I think he might have retired. Let's see. We do see uh, Hawkinson retire, we've seen Okuda retire, and we see DeAndre Swift retire. Of course, Aquara is about to be gone in a second. We'll see if they actually decide to keep him as a starter. If they do, we'll take a look at his season. Might as well. We're already here. Uh, simulate the draft, see if they actually do any better in the draft. Probably not. Uh, the draft, I mean, maybe we'll look at this guy. Yikes, man. Pick 15, that's what you come up with. He's not even young, like... <laughs> Aquara is the starter, so I suppose we'll play one final season here. Well, not play. We'll we'll watch it. And it's another playoff season. I will say that. Statistically, uh, Roy Simpson had a really good year, and then that completely went away. Uh, of course, no Swift. Rest in peace, Swift. Let's take a look at Mr. Aquara, his final season. How did he do? Uh, six sacks again. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Takobi Arnold kind of came out of nowhere as well, by the way. 31 years old. An actual pass rusher. Okay. <laughs> Aquara was not a pass rusher. A uh, hundred and what? How many sacks did his, his career actually end with? Aquara with 177 career sacks. Impressive stuff. 
Let's see if the Lions can do it. We'll actually watch these final games if there even is many. 81 overall, 83. Might just be final game. Going to the end of the game. It's a snowy one. Chicago will score the first points of the game. Detroit gets three back. Might be a lead. There will be a lead. Three-point lead. That goes away. 10 all. Right before half, another field goal. The Bears are starting to have a bit of momentum here. 20 to 10. And unfortunately, it looks as if the Lions will maybe. Nope, they will not have the uh they will not have a chance to win. No Super Bowl win for uh Aquara in his career, but still really solid careers from the uh the top three draft picks of the Detroit Lions. I would assume Aquara's name wasn't in the, the title, even though he probably had the best career out of all three. It's just you know, it's not he probably shouldn't even been a focus of the video considering how late of a round pick what he was, but he could have definitely went earlier in the draft, in fairness, so it is what it is. And we will see who wins the Super Bowl. The Broncos have been to a few of them, and will they win this? They will not be... I hate me. I, why do, I It must not be me, right? It's got to be the game doing that, right? Surely I'm not that dumb, right? The Broncos don't answer that. Uh, the Broncos defeat the uh, the Saints. All right. So this was the career sim of Jeff Okuda, Dondre Swift, and Julian Aquara. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of these, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Uh, and I think for next Wednesday, which is my birthday, I'm going to be doing one video that day. It's going to be the career sim of Jordan Love. So that should be fun. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, I suggest some more for me if you guys want to see more of these. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.